Hello everyone, today I would like to show you how to make a simple data logger using Arduino and an SD card. As you can see, this is my setup here. So the major component here is going to be SD card module. Inside it, I've placed a, an SD card. I've talked about this in my previous tutorial. I'll put a link to that video where I talked about how to use this SD card module. Then I also have a DS3231 RTC module. That's going to help me in keeping my time and date. I also have a light dependent resistor is going to be used for measuring the light intensity then this side i've included an lm35 temperature sensor and also have a simple potentiometer that i'll be using to vary current across one of the analog pins of my arduino so in other words what this data logger is going to be doing is collecting data from these sensors and the potentiometer over a given period of time and then that data is going to be stored inside the SD card. So I'll be able to store the date and time from the DS3231 RTC module. Then I'll be able to store the light intensity using this light dependent resistor. Then I'll store the temperature from the LM305 temperature sensor. Then I'm also going to put a simple potentiometer value. Or well, I'll just put it as a potentiometer percentage change that is going to be determined by the change in the analog values that will be read from the analog pin where I've connected this potentiometer. So I'm going to connect the potentiometer to analog pin 2, then I'll connect the temperature sensor to analog pin 1, and I'll also connect the light dependent resistor to analog pin 0. Let me have a simple look at the kind of program that I'm going to be using to run this data logger. This is the code we are going to be using for our simple project. So we shall need these libraries here. The DS3231 is for controlling the RTC that we are using. Then the SPI and SD.H libraries are for controlling the SD card reader that we have. These two libraries usually come pre-installed in the Arduino IDE, so you don't need to look much for them. Then we also declare the pins where we are going to be connecting our sensors. For example, we are going to connect the temperature sensor on the analog pin A2. Then the light dependent resistor is going to be connected to analog pin 1. And then the potentiometer is on analog pin 0. Then we create a simple object, we name it data file, that is going to be used for saving our data on the SD card. Then we also specify the chip select pin for our SD card, which is very important in initializing our SD card. Then we go to the setup, the setup mainly involves initializing of the SD card, and the major idea here is to open our SD card and even give a name for the kind of document that we are going to be forming when storing our data. So in my case, I'm going to name my document logdata.tx. Something I need to specify here is that the name that you give to your document should have a maximum of 8 characters and then this is an extension name. Then the other thing you can do in the initialization is to write the first line or the heading of the kind of data that you are storing. For example, in my case, the first line is going to have data, time, temperature, light, intensity and then the potentiometer values or percentage. Since I'm going to be also using the PLX DAX tool, so I will just also use these simple serial commands to enable me to run that tool on the Excel spreadsheet. So in the loop, they're just going to be reading the values from the analog pins and then convert them to the desired values that we want. For example, we can read the value from the temperature sensor and convert it to temperature in degrees Celsius. Then we can also convert the value to from the light dependent resistor to light intensity and the potentiometer value can also be converted to percentage. So this other part of the code is for storing data on the SD card. And remember I've said that the values when stored should be separated by commas. I'll talk more about it when it comes to that part where you're reading data from the SD card. You see the importance of these commas here. Then this other part is for use in the PLX DAX tool that I'm going to be also using here. Then lastly, I'm going to be putting a delay of 3 seconds, meaning that the data I'm going to be having is going to be ready every after 3 seconds. I'll put a link in the description below so that you can be able to have a look at this data. I'll put a link in the description below so that you can be able to access this code. And you can even do some changes if you're using different types of sensors. So now, let's see what happens if you upload this code to Arduino. So I've now uploaded the code into my Arduino. So the data from the different sensors will automatically begin being stored on the SD card. And you can even check it out here using our serial monitor. So if I press my serial monitor here, so you see here showing you the different values and that are being stored on the SD card. Okay, to observe this better, let's use the PLX DAX tool using the Excel spreadsheet. To do that, you will first close the serial monitor. Then I'll open the 
PLX DAX tool. From here, I remember this can enable us to have real time observation of the data as it is progressing. You can also see your communication with the Arduino board. So now to observe that, I will just press connect here. Yeah, and as you can see, I can see the date, the login time, the time, the temperature, the intensity, and then the potentiometer. So if you vary the values of the potentiometer, keep on varying the values of the potentiometer and the light intensity, you observe the values changing. Remember in our code we said the values change every after 30 seconds. As the intensity and the potentiometer value and the temperature vary, you'll be observing them here on the Excel spreadsheet using this tool. I've talked more about this in a separate tutorial, so you can check it out to know how this works. So after collecting the data over a given period of time that you have specified, then you can stop here, you just go to disconnect. Then after that, you can even unplug the Arduino from the computer and remove the SD card, and then you can be able to access the data on that SD card. I've already put the SD card in my computer and as you can see here I'll be seeing the text document remember we saved it as log data in our code therefore we're going to be seeing this text document labeled log data then we can if I click on it you'll be able to see the data that has been stored inside there so here I've had the date time temperature light intensity and then the percentage of the potentiometer that was being rotated so remember the date and time we are got from the DS32 one RTC. Then the temperature was good from the temperature sensor. The light intensity was good from the light dependent resistor. And then the potentiometer reading was good as was demonstrated before. So after here you can be able to analyze this data. But as you can see, if you are going to use a simple text editor like the notepad, it's very hard to do any kind of analysis using this kind of text editor. So what we need to do is to import this data into an Excel sheet. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So what you do, you open your Excel spreadsheet like here. Then you have to import the other data from the notepad to Excel. So to do that, you just go to data. Then you click here from text. Then you select where your document is. For example, mine is log data. Then you click import. And then you're going to have a text import wizard. Because remember the other data that we had was in the notepad. And then here you're going to be opening it in the Excel spreadsheet. So the main part of this text import wizard is to specify the kind of delimiters that you have because the data we have is in the csv format csv means comma separated values so if you look here in our data you discover that the data inside here is being separated by comma so this is what you call the csv format so in this case we need to specify the kind of delimiters or separators that we're using in, the, in our data so we just go to next and then we select our delimiter which is comma and as you can see now, it has already shown you how the data is going to be displayed on the spreadsheet. We just click finish. Okay. So as you see, the data is now placed very well on the spreadsheet. And as if you do some simple compilation, you discover that these commas were specifying a given column. So whenever you see a comma, that means move to the next column. So after having the Excel spreadsheet, you can do all types of data manipulation and analysis as you want. So you can demonstrate here, for example, if I want, I can get the time and I read these readings here. Then I can show the data maybe in the line graph like here. So that's how you do the kind of simple analysis using the data and the Excel spreadsheet. So that is it for our simple data logger. You can try it out using many other sensors. In this case, I've only used the sim a few sensors, but you can use it with any data sensors that you want, and you do the analysis using the Excel spreadsheet. So hope you've learned something new today. Don't forget to like my videos and to watch my other videos and to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.